to mom. Hey Gavin, I may have found us a couple of places we can stay. Most of them are apartments, so you don't mind that, do you? No, I don't. It'd be kind of cool. My only concern with apartments is you live so close to people, and if um, one person had an accident um, cooking, and they caught their apartment on fire, and they're right next to us, guess who else is going to get burned down? Oh, I never thought about it that way. And that's where you have to have faith. Amen. Wait a minute. La Rosa Apartments? That's... That's where Carlos lives. We would be neighbors if we lived there. Hmm. I like the sounds of that. Maybe he could come over every now and then. He can come over whenever he wants to. How's he doing, by the way? I think he's handling everything pretty well. He got a job at, uh, the Pet Mart. Well, good for him. I kind of wonder if it would make it easy on us if I got a job, too. You already have one. No, I don't. Your job is making sure you have good grades, because I know you have dreams to go to college. Didn't you say you had plans to be a pediatrician or something like that? Working with kids, something like that. Um, I even thought about maybe, um, working as a teacher, but uh, I don't know. I, there, I don't really have a subject I would like, but working in a school would be pretty cool. Being a principal would be pretty cool. What other jobs could you get as an educator, like in the field of education? Ever thought about being the school doctor or nurse? Hmm. I like that idea. The fields of education and medication have a lot of opportunities for you. So you just keep working hard and getting those good grades in high school and boom, off to college you go. Okay. I just thought about it because I wanted to help you out. We'll be just fine, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna get started on my homework. Okay, I'm gonna book an appointment to see if I can talk to the owner of the La Rosa apartment so that we can see about getting a apartment there. <sighs> this is your department. Welcome to Returns. My name is Karen, I'm your manager need anything, just give me a holler, or don't. Um, okay. Um, excuse me? Ooh. Goodness, child, I, I didn't notice you. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, goodness. Uh, you don't have to call me ma'am. I might be old, but you don't need to be rem remind me. You can just call me Lily. Oh, uh. I, I guess you're my co-worker? Yeah, I, I guess I'm supposed to be showing me around. Our manager don't really talk much. That was Karen. Karen, the manager. You think she'd be the customer complaining to the manager, but anyway. <laughs> you're a skittish one. Anyway, this way. I forgot that toaster. A man came in here, said it was broken, and it ain't even broken. It might be now. Okay. First off, I want to teach you about the bands. This one right here just has a couple of things, like the small things like jewelry in there. This one here has broken things, and this over here has uh, things that people just either don't want or they're okay. Since we're kind of a small store, uh, we don't have many, many uh, categories like Walmart, but uh, because it's Pet Mart, we, uh, we're, we're kind of a knockoff. Now, I need to teach you about this register here. This might take a while. And finally, this button here. I get it, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. Okay, okay, I believe you're all set. Um, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. You behave now. Hi, Mr. Mark. You work here? Uh, yes, sir. You're always one of the better ones. Um, 
Thanks. Yeah. Sucks getting uh, fired. Hope you never get experience of that. But I also hope you never experience getting drunk in front of a class either. Anyway, I need to exchange. This has got a chip in it. Okay, um, do you have a receipt? I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if I can, um, exchange this if I don't have a receipt. Can you find it? Find your receipt? Uh, I don't know how to do that. For the love of talk. I'm sorry, Mr. Malark. I, I just started today. I, I don't know any of those things. Good lord, why are you shaking so hard? Okay, you could just keep the mug. I don't care. Wait, I, I, I I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what to do. You did exactly what you needed to do because he stole it. You're uh, rather young to be having such panic attacks like that, don't you know? If something ever comes up like that, feel free to just use that phone right there and call me. All right, and I'll deal with them. But for your own mental health, I would say go see somebody. It's not healthy to do that. How did it go? How did what go? That transaction. Did you ever get it back? Um, turns out he stole it. There's still a chip in it though, so I'm gonna put it to the broken pile. Good. Now you can empty that broken into the trash can over there. And then you, when you get back, you can put the good things back where they need to go in the store. I uh, don't know where everything goes. Even at my age and knowledge of this store, I don't either. Okay. Where's your brother? Working. Finally. Since you're not working, how would you like to get me a bottle of that white wine? Sure. Do you want a cup? No, just the bottle. Um, okay. Haven't you already drank enough? Nicole. That means it's just me and you. Um, I, I'm gonna go to homework. ask you if I could do my own. You want to become him? I never said I wanted to become him. I just Penelope. Next thing you're gonna, you're gonna want a tattoo and a nose ring and- And so what? What if I want it? I'm 17. And the next thing you want to do is, is to give yourself away to him. I, we only kissed. Really? Yes, we've only kissed. The next thing you're gonna do is give yourself away to him. That's all I'm gonna say. My dog, it's my body anyway. What does it matter? As long as you're under our house, you will abide by our rules. And you will not give yourself away to him. You will not dye your hair. You will not get piercings and you will not get tattoos. 
Oh yeah? Well, as soon as I'm 18, I'm doing all of those things. Because. Penelope, will you listen to yourself? You've, you've gone crazy. Crazy? Me? Look at you two. All you want to do is control me in my life. Who cares if I've only kissed him? You know what? What if I wanted to do more with him? Well, from your messages, it seems like you've already done more than that with him. And from what we have heard. Messages? What do you mean by you've heard? Your phone. Your messages. We've read them all. Every single word you were typing, I was shaking my head. You were wa watching me? And I just can't believe you would disobey us like this. You, you hear everything I say on my phone? Are you regretting telling your friends how controlling we are? And how you hate band because of us? No. I, I don't regret it at all. Actually, I, I don't need your stupid phone. I don't need either of you. I'm out of here. Call the police now. I'm on it. And hurry. Oh my goodness. Penelope, what, what's the matter? Penelope? Skylar. My parents were stalking me on my phone. I'll let you two talk, okay? Thanks, Mom. No problem. Do what? Well, here lately I've been meeting Brad at the park, and we usually, um, kiss and, uh, well, uh, you don't have to tell me everything. Oh, we've, we've only made out. We haven't gone further than that, but they told me that they've been reading my messages. My dad said every time I type a word, he knows. And then he said he heard what we were doing. Anytime I had my phone with me, they knew what I was saying. Everything. Oh my dog. I, I knew they were protective and they cared about you, but that's... That's over the line. Yeah, now they've called the cops and they're gonna come after me. And I'm gonna be stuck with them, Skylar. <laughs> For another year, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, Penelope. I promise. I don't know what to do. I can't be with them. I, I just, I can't. It's probably them. Penelope, Brinkley? Yes. Are you gonna take me back to my parents? No. We have some things to discuss. Come with me. It's alright, don't you worry. Mom? What's happening to Penelope?